Hey everyone, my name is Kurt Hoffman and I'm the creator of the Triple Epiphany Poster Pack which comes with four uh, unique and different posters. I'm also uh, an assistant professor of social work at Spring Harbor University. Um, so quite quickly, the purpose of this video is simply to introduce you to uh, myself and my story and kind of what influenced me and motivated me to create these posters. Um, yeah, so long story short, my background, and this is totally ironic, you know, being a professor, um, but I, I hated school. Like from kindergarten through 12th grade, I absolutely hated school. I almost didn't graduate high school for sleeping in class too much. Um, my mom sent me to every tutor she could get me to, and I hated that as well. Um, and in hindsight, I, I realized why. I realized it wasn't because I didn't love to learn or I didn't care or I wasn't bright enough or something to do it. It was just simply that I didn't understand why. I didn't know why I was there. I didn't know why this, inform this information was important or relevant or anything like that. So, so this factor and a number of other different factors in my life and my background and my story kind of pushed me to a place um, earlier in my 20s um, where I just, I came to just a clear conclusion that I wanted truth above all else. That I just wanted to understand that whatever the answers were to life's biggest questions, I wanted those answers. Um, if it was, you know, God loves me and I have a per perfect plan for my life, then I'm, I'm into that. If it's all this chaos and everything's a big giant accident, then, then that's what I'll dedicate my life to and that's what I would live by. So I just wanted truth above all else. Um, and then interestingly enough, that pushed me into uh, studying um, the, dis the discipline of philosophy. And I was in a philosophy class with one of my favorite professors, uh, Serena Gangadine, uh, in Phoenix. And he presented um, an argument to us in the class that, that always kind of stuck with me and forced me to go deeper. And the question is, um, is a simple true or false question, blicks or Gru, true or false? And just quite quickly, of course, I don't know what a blick is, I don't know what a grew is, um, so I can't come up with the answer, true or false. And that's the exact point. Uh, he was, his point was to articulate that meaning is more basic than truth. And we have to understand the meaning of something before we can even discern whether it's true or false or not. And so that essentially is my personal motivation, my intellectual convictions for why I wrote these posters. Not to like prove anything epic, but just to present material that cultivates meaningful and deep and rich dialogue about the nature of things and the meaning of things. Like what do things actually mean? What does it mean to be a human being? What makes us the same? Um, so for example, the biggest, some of the biggest questions that these posters seek to, to raise or challenge or articulate or, or respond to, um, you know, the human elements poster first, you know, seeks to answer the question, what is a human being? What am I? Uh, as a whole person, what makes me uh, a human and then what makes me a unique individual? Same with the unity of human diversity poster. This really builds out how are we equal and diverse? Or are we equal or are we diverse or which is it? How do we make sense of this? Or how do we affirm what we are as human beings and who we are as unique individuals? Uh, the Moral Universals poster is um, designed to ask the question about a universal human nature. Um, are there any, is there anything in the world of morality or choices or values that's universal uh, amongst all humans across the planet? Or is everything just completely and arbitrarily relative to the, to the locality? Um, and then finally, the Human Experience Framework which uh, challenges or asks the questions, or tries to answer the question rather, to how do we make sense of all the complexity? Given all the complexity of the social society, social system, how do we make sense of all the complexity? And with all of those, and in that poster in particular, it just simply recognizes the way the mind works. The mind naturally thinks of the more complex things in light of the more basic things. So the, the beginning of these posters is to articulate the meaning of things, what things actually mean, and then also invite the reader into the journey of understanding the more basic things first, 
so that when we get to the complex things, they're not so confusing, that we can understand them in the order that they come. In other words, we can, we can unravel and examine our basic assumptions about human nature, human life, human society, the role of worldviews and how we interpret our experiences and so forth. But just use them to dialogue, to debate, um, to raise questions and answer questions as you yourself seek truth and seek to understand the basic meaning of things. You can access a facilitator's guide for these posters as well. So if you're an institution or a teacher uh, and you want to use these, you can access those um, on our website um, too. So um, yeah, and lastly, there are also four more videos, one video for each poster. So I encourage you, if you get the posters and you look at them and you want to use them, refer to those videos as well to hear a little bit more of my story, a little more of um, what's behind them, what's involved with them, and what they're used for, and all those good things. So anyways, I appreciate your time. All right, peace.